Well, hello everyone. I'm coming to you again with another network update, and I'm excited to be here in North Platte at New Life Church with my good friend, Leroy Wire, pastor in Scott's Bluff. How are you doing today? Hey, I am great. Thanks for asking me down. Yeah, thanks for coming. So we're talking about connecting with our colleagues, and we want to do an interview on that subject. So Leroy, tell us a little bit about your journey from the pew to the pulpit here in Nebraska. I was saved back in 1988 in Norfolk, Nebraska, and soon afterwards I started attending Victory Road Assembly of God with uh, Pastor Mark Rose, and he invested and committed into my life, and I wanted to do that for him. And uh, so, yeah, he's encouraged me. He's mentored me. I uh, started doing my Berean and uh, got my credentials that way. And uh, I soon became the honor bound district director, men's director for the state of Nebraska. And uh, from then, uh, went on. And in 2005, I became the pastor of First Assembly of God in Scotts Bluff. 2005, so it's 15 years. 15 years in November. Way to go. Thank that's you. a good That's a good milestone. Uh, tell me about some of your friendships in the district. How did they develop and why, why do you value them? And I have a lot of great friends uh, in the district. Um, it, it's interesting the way Jesus introduces you to people. Sometimes it's through uh, what we would think accident, but uh, ministry events. Um, camaraderie, um, kindred spirits. I like to hunt and fish, and and you're just drawn to other ministers like that. And, and yeah, uh, very valuable because they speak into my life, uh, their gifts and talents. God uses to encourage me, to help me through tough times, and and vice versa. We we do that, and we get to that place of security where uh, I can be vulnerable because I trust them. What do you do to stay in touch with them across the distance? Usually it's phone calls. I'll try to call every week or every other week. Um, uh, sometimes it's texting. If we're in close proximity, then we'll meet for meals, uh, coffee, or we'll uh, just hang out in the office. We actually just had lunch together right here at Cadilla. Great time. Yeah, it was fun. So being in our district for the last several years, what do you see as the biggest challenges we face and building friendships across the state. One of the greatest challenges that I see is we underestimate the value of friends. Um, you know, the scripture says that uh, we can mourn together and we can rejoice together and share ideas. And it's not healthy to be on an island. And so uh, that's one of the biggest challenges. And the other one is we think we're too busy. So we'll Everyone wants to see ministers healthy, even ourselves, but we'll seem to write that on the margins and uh, not take the time to uh, uh, invest in that. So finally then, what tips would you give for building this connection with our colleagues across the district? Well, most of us have uh, good friends already, but uh, I'm always challenged and I would challenge you, challenge you to uh, pick two new people and put them in your calendar, uh, in your phone, and bi-weekly or whatever, call them. I know the phone works both ways, and don't be discouraged if they don't call you, but be persistent in, in calling them, and you'll establish a, a, a great friendship and a relationship that would be beneficial to everyone. I love it. A challenge of two new people, that would be great. Leroy, thank you for coming down to North Platte for me. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks, Toby, for inviting me. <laughs> And everybody else, uh, walk holy, work hard, and worship Him. We'll see you next time.